Hello and welcome to my little corner on YouTube. Today is my day four as I keep this journal, video journal. Every day I do some um, just random ranting about the day, about my purpose. Uh, and the main goal of this is just to capture how I will be changing from day one and so on and so forth by not drinking alcohol at all and by doing lots of other good things so today's day four i am happy um, my mind is a bit more clear i look a little bit more together i spent half a day um, in the gym and i picked Two days a week when I just go there and spend half a day and I call it my spa day. So today, Friday, it was my spa day. I have to say I was exercising and going to the gym every day since I started this journal. Just because I want to speed up the process. I, I'm sick and tired of being <laughs> sick and tired. I clearly understand that I'm not going to live forever. And I have potential in me to enjoy how I look, to enjoy how I sound. And the fact that I'm not enjoying either is quite sad. So I want to fix that. And that's probably why I'm engaging the full artillery at my disposal that I can. Um, God gave me a fantastic chance to do this. I'm 50 I'm semi-retired, I still run my private practice, but I don't really have to, to pay the bills, which is something I would only dream of having back in the days. So what, did, what about day four? If you are following my, my system, the first day of that 30-day transformation, 30-day recovery, 30-day however you want to call it. Well, the first day was about starting recording everything you do. I love my my journals. It created oops, created this one in the leather bind I got from Amazon, but the, the inserts are pretty much made myself, which is making it very special. So journal, because you need to write down everything you do, everything you eat, your thoughts and I also have an additional gratitude journal where I just narrate what's happening, my thoughts, my fears, my concerns, my happy moments, sad moments. And the second day I suggested that you, what was the second day? You think through your gym bag. Again, you can do something else if you are not going to the gym, but I do love my membership in LA Fitness because for $38 I get, I get access to a fantastic pool, to so many locations. I go to three locations, but I can go to more if I wanted to drive. Sauna, and yes, there are a lot of things I don't like about it, especially when people go into sauna and not not showering not 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 after shower in their outdoor almost outdoor shoes because I see they don't change shoes when they come to the gym so they just go into the same shoes and sauna which is horrible um, so gym bag for me I would I would put an emphasis on it because there are so many little things that can just sidetrack you just can derail your best motivation oh you don't have a locker oh i don't have sleepers oh i'll get this infection so I, I won't go to swim no just sit spend one day thinking through everything from a logistical point of view now the third day was about the list of things you want to get rid of and breaking them down in something you can sell something you can donate or barter with somebody something you recycle, something you just dump. 
and the fourth day I think you're ready to start x-raying your expenses because you will be very excited when things start falling back into places how exciting it is to see your balance bank balance grow and over the years as a professional financial planner I I played with different templates and options on different budgets and I created finally the one that really really well works for me and I suggest you get it yeah yeah this is my commercial <laughs> you go to Etsy spend I don't know what is it $15 $12 I don't know how much I sell it for right now but even if it's hundred dollars get it I spent 20 years designing it and the piece that really made this budget wor uh, wor work for me was to separate essential expenses, food, basic clothing, like socks, underwear, pantyhose, things you absolutely have to buy, not Jimmy Choo shoes, yeah. and luxury spending. Jimmy Choo shoes and red coffee and French champagne and hobbies and all the things you can live without. And I'm not propagating to not have luxuries, actually quite opposite. I, I'm all for it. But in a mindful way, and you need to know how much money you have for them. If you have $100 for your luxuries, then this is it. If you have 1000 they can congratulate you. But you have to know the number. Then you can plan your vacations, plan your hobbies, and just be realistic. And what I was missing in my budget for many years is bad habits. And I thought, what a brilliant idea to have this as a separate standalone category. So my budget, you will see eight major uh, categories for, to track expenses, such as housing, transportation, like things we can't live without. Financial services, that's a minor thing, but I like the single in it out separately because it's usually the easiest one to track and save money on. Childcare, obviously. Health or wellness. Uh, if you have health insurance, that's great. Or maybe you have to pay for health insurance, so that would be your expense. And then we're getting into living expenses bad habits and discretionary spending so those are my categories and now i know where to put wine because for years i didn't know would i put wine into essentials which felt like it or discretionary but it's not a luxury thing that enriches your life like expensive cream or a vintage magazine or high quality clothing it's not enhancing your life it's actually does the opposite so it's not essential because you don't need to you don't need to survive in order yeah you don't need to drink wine to survive and then epiphany moment came in and i thought yeah what if i make the whole category bad habits and i have cigarettes wine overdue payments, speeding tickets, parking tickets, whatever you think is a bad habit. And a feedback from some psycho psychologists that I got was it helps people to address this these bad habits by seeing the price tag. And when you're singling it out, using my budget template, it could be quite convincing. You know, when I saw that our... Wine was two hundred fifty dollars every month. I thought, okay, that's like food, part of part of the food. Then it was three sixty. Then it was four hundred. Then it was five hundred. Then it got to seven hundred. And then this is when I cried for help, and I realized we have to stop. And in the past, we would have a mom almost half a year when we didn't spend any money on alcohol. We did drink wine that friends would bring or if we would visit somebody maybe especially my sister because she would treat us with French champagne how can you resist right that's difficult 
And usually this is when it would happen that we would be treated by a really good one with, of course, best intentions. And then you get another bottle and another bottle. And then the expenses would go from 200 to 300 to 400 and exponentially. And I realized that, the, yeah, the, I, I really don't want to spend money on this. I would rather go and have an expensive trip or get Jimmy Choo shoes, you know, at least you have them. And by the way, I'm so not interested in heels. I wear cats. There's so many nice looking cats right now. I, I, I love Michael Kors. They look amazing with even dresses, even evening dresses. Those cats look good. Yeah, I don't know. You have to pay me to to wear cats. So, start doing the budget and to track your bad habits. And I would say the easiest way to save money is to identify your bad habits and deal with them. Win-win, right? And then, as you go, just every expense you make, you put it in as a success spreadsheet. And what also I think makes this budget great that I did 12 tabs for every month so from January to December and in addition I'm adding another tab for every month where you see this lovely pie chart and you could see a portion of your expenses going to housing to transportation to childcare, and I, I think it's pretty neat to see this global view and under the pie chart, you can track your saving aha moments. And I find it quite, quite engaging because I did this for the whole year. And, oh, yes, I saved $20. Oh, this store gave me store credit, even though I didn't have a receipt because I asked super, super nicely. And I sold a bunch of things on Kijiji. And... Stephen made extra money and we fought for some discount, we got it. And I like to track those little wins in this an analysis page, which I think makes it quite rewarding to do budget because there's always something new. Every month you can come up with, oh, well now we can freeze coffee and have coffee in you know, those ice cubes that you can make coffee smoothie or coffee uh, cocktail. By the way, since day one, I'm not drinking coffee anymore. With coffee, I love coffee. I, uh, coffee is, is magic. But I think it was screwing me up because that this first cup in the morning was kind of setting me up for a few glasses of wine in the evening. It would raise my energy too high, I guess, and then you would have to lower it. Pretty much like a lot of celebrities, you would find them on stimulants like Adderall and then they need some something to put them to sleep. So why, why bother? Why, why have it if our body is doing what it's doing on its own? You don't have to buy all this shit. It's silly. So going back to the budget, uh, I have... Um, template for you and each each month is linked to the annual review so in, in the annual review you would see your result for the month and your result year to date for example our result last year was minus forty thousand dollars that had to come from somewhere and i know it came from our savings i would not know it and then Stephen asked me, how did, how much money did I make on my part-time job? And I was able to give him exact number to, to a cent, not even to a dollar. I know exactly how much we spend on Boomer, our dog. It's uh, $1,086 a year with vet bills, uh, just basic things. Occasional leash and food, 88 bucks, however you slice it a month and that helps to make decisions on top of it what really helps me is to have of course the, something I can write and when I'm listening to 
uh, podcast or some commentary or documentary. I actually like to fill my budget book and put all the expenses and maybe take a picture of the highlight expense. Something happened on the, this month. What I bought here, bought blackout curtains. Best decision ever. I'll speak about sleep later in, in the later days. My mom's funerals, that was some, some expenses. Frigidaire, new, new thing, and we had Easter lunch at Casa Loma. Kind of makes it fun. It not, not the dreary, sad, boring exercise. It's quite interesting. So I buy those books on Amazon. I'll obviously mention the link. And once a week, I suggest you have this one hour of time book. You go through your credit card, stay, your credit card expenses. If you use multiple credit cards, I would suggest to streamline your main expenses to one credit card because it's really um, difficult when you have so many different cards. So try to get it from one, but if you have many, then just put it all on electronic budget. $36 to $56, $45, $25. So they will give you the true picture of your spending. Whether you are at the beginning of building your wealth and you have your young family, you need to know if you can afford to have children and what sacrifices you would be prepared to make to have them. If you have children, you can make a decision about private education versus public education. If you're pre-retired, you could see, gosh, we can retire. Why do you have to take all this abuse from our workplace? Really, we're spending more money going to work than work gives us. That was my scenario with CIBC when I realized that I was actually subsidizing the freaking bank. By the way, I, as a client, I absolutely love CBC. It's my favorite bank, best interface, best online banking, and really good, hardworking people working there. But working there as an employee was hell. It was like military, really. And when I did my math, I realized that I am actually would be better off not to work, believe it or not, and stay at home. Well, it was a bit too late, but... It helped me to make a decision to just quit it, get my pension out of it, into a locked-in retirement account, live over it for a couple of years to start my own practice. Never looked back. Do I wish I quit earlier? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm glad I did when I was 40. I got 10 years of amazing life that I would never, 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 never trade for anything. So, um, to wrap up, it's 18 minutes already, 18.30, uh, start your budget. And the way I track my money, I track it in three ways. I use built-in personal spend manager that the CIBC credit cards has. I realize not everybody would have this feature, but check it out. Maybe you... Your credit card, when you go online, has some something you can not just create the budget for you. That That's not going to work. But something where you can create your own categories and assign it to your own categories. Because we're all different. But as a minimum, please do Excel spreadsheet. And not only projecting. That would come later. I actually... After doing religiously for a year, every single expense into the budget. And by the way, of course, I cheated. I, I played catch-up game a month ago, two months ago, when I would put a lot of expenses that I did before, but I didn't track. And this was eye-opening, eye-opening game. I had a general picture, but not exact picture. I thought we were minus 25 grand. We were minus 40. That's how big the gap of what I thought and what actually was. This gap was. And if you want to make it more fun, 
Um, this is a w very well designed budget book to help you to track things. I think psychologically when you're writing down your expense, it doesn't matter, I got uh, ribbons, I got some ribbons for, for gifts. And it's always 1633, but you're writing this 1633, you're writing this simple little things one by one. And then, you know what happens next time you want to spend 1633? You think, oh my gosh, do I really need this hustle? And slowly you will be cutting off those fluff from your life because... I sometimes don't want to write it down 50 times everywhere, so it's just easier to pass. So it's an added benefit. All right, thank you for listening. Day four. By the way, uh, minus two kilos since the first day. My expense for liquor went from 470 to 340. Yay. I don't know. We spent probably $100 at some point. Uh, that's, that's great. And... I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye.